Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about how to use secured files in Azure DevOps. Before going to our actual video, if you are new to my channel, I would request you to subscribe and watch my channel. And if you if you feel that the videos that I am post, posting is very much useful and relevant to you, to keep me motivated, you can buy me a super thanks. If you are not sure what super thanks is, you can go to any one of my video and click on these three dots. You can see an option called thanks here. You can click on thanks and donate an amount that is um, uh, you can increase or decrease the amount based on your preference and actually buy and send me in super thanks which will actually help me to keep motivated and post most more videos with regards to Azure DevOps in future. All right. So now jumping to our actual topic. So how do we work with secure files in Azure DevOps? So this is a continuation of our previous video where we discussed about variable groups. Right? So if we go to our pipelines, there's an option called library. Inside library, we discussed about how to work with variable groups and how do we use that variable groups in uh, YAML pipeline and classic editor of the pipeline. Right? So here now we will look about how to work with secure files. You can see there is a tab near variable groups it's called secure files. Currently, I don't have any secure file uh, present here. Before going to this uh, practical session, why do we need to use this is because you know, in case in real time, you have some sensitive data or you want to upload or download a certificate into a different agent machine or you know, you are saving, you are storing some sensitive information like maybe SSH keys or credentials, which is very much um, beneficial for you or uh, which is something you want to hide it from uh, your peers or the entire group for security purposes. In those situations, secure files might be very much useful. The reason is because you do not pass these secure files into your uh, Git repo or any other repository you actually store it in um, uh, you, you actually store it in within Azure so that it is very much secured and it is encrypted in uh, it is kept in an encrypted manner all right so uh, just to start with let's see a very basic example about how to upload a secure file and how do you use that secure file in your YAML pipeline all right so once I click on secure file there's an option to upload a file. So I'm going to browse it. You know, for simplicity, I have created a .pem certificate file. So this is like a certificate file, which is in .pem format. So I'm going to click and upload that. The name is certificate one and I'm going to upload it. So as soon as I upload, you can see, I can find that file here in under my secure file group. Um, and you can even provide uh, security to it like who and all want to access right so by default it is inherited and the default per, uh, permissions are provided to these repositories and these users and gave uh, I gave few privileges to uh, few privileges to certain roles okay this is done by default and if you want to use this actual secure files in your pipeline, let's see how we can actually do that. Okay, before going to that, I want to show you something uh, which will actually help you in understanding our upcoming example. In order to work with this um, uh, secure files in YAML pipeline, you got to know few concepts. So first we have, we need to use something called a secure download secure file at one uh, predefined task okay so this will actually download your secure file um, and store it in an, uh, in a temporary repository temporary uh, file location okay and this is something you gonna use in your yaml pipeline and apart from that you have few basic details like you gotta provide inputs where you have to provide the secure file uh, the name of the actual file and these two are something very optional a retry count how much time you want to retry uh, when the download fails uh, when the download fails okay so by default the number is eight you can increase or decrease this number based on your requirement and finally we have something called socket timeout so what is the timeout period that you want to specify 
is something you can provide with this particular task okay this is something you need to know i'll, I'll come to this part uh, once we actually work on the actual example all right so now if i go to my example let me go to any of my pipeline so this is the yaml pipeline which i have been using for demo purpose let me edit it um i already have a, a basic details here where i am using a pool called azure pipelines and i have a default steps called um, where i am just calling a hello world script okay so let let it be there uh, in addition to that we will add few more details what we actually saw so what we need to do is we need to add a task right the task can task will be download um secure file at one okay and then we have to provide the name the name can be anything of your preference certificate get file okay you can call anything um, and then you can have a display name as well if you want to uh, promote the use of, promote the readability on your uh, yaml pipeline task you can actually provide a display name too okay it can be anything like download the certificate or anything which is relevant to your actual stream of work and then we saw about inputs right inputs um, let's have a secure file so this is a parameter here i have to provide my certificate name okay which is certificate this is the name which i've used uh, this is the file which i uploaded in the secure file section okay the so certificate.pm file and yeah now i can just validate and save it Yeah, one thing you need to know notice when you run it for the very first time okay you actually need to provide permission to the pipeline to access your secure files but so so this uh, warning message came to me uh, so that I can provide permissions to the secure files here I'm permitting it as simple as that once the once I provide the required permission this uh, job will run it's gonna take a while so i'm just gonna pause my video for a second and resume back yes now my job ran successfully you can now see there's a step which ran next to initialize job which is pre-job download the certificate so this is the name that i provided in my pipeline um, for readability you can see it ran as a pre-job step because we are actually installing um, you're downloading a secure file and all right so it ran as a pre-job activity you can see here my download secure file completed successfully okay so it started and finished next you can see my actual uh, script ran so we ran a hello world script right it ran successfully and my job is completed successfully all right so this is a very simplest way of um, uh, uploading your secure file and then how and how do you use that secure file in your yaml pipeline all right so there are a few other uh, steps that i wanted to show you uh, okay if you go go here okay we already discussed about we already discussed about this in a high level right so we saw about what is secure file is okay it actually specifies the name or a unique identifier of a secure file that is downloaded to the agent machine one thing to note here is when the file uh, the file is actually deleted when the pipeline job completes okay so when the job completes the pipeline is uh, sorry the when the pipeline job is actually completed the file is deleted permanently from the agent machine okay and we already discussed about uh, retry as well it it, act, it is an optional parameter it specifies a number of time uh, to do retry downloading a secure file if the download fails okay again we discussed about socket timeout as well which is an optional parameter 
when downloading a secure file request in Microsoft, this input specifies the timeout for the socket. Okay, and few other things that I want to show you is we have something called secure file path. Okay, this specifies the location of the secure file that was actually downloaded. Okay, so um, if you look at this particular example which we actually used we used a file name called certificate one right so if you wanna um, reference this in your yaml right it is actually referenced using this particular syntax we provided provide we provide it with this syntax where we have a dollar sim prefixed with dollar symbol here we provide our uh, certificate name and uh, sorry this is we here we provide our file name and this is the, the secure file path okay but alternatively you can actually uh, find the download secure files in this particular temporary directory too okay so these are the things that i want you to understand so that uh, if you can use these parameters in your um, yaml pipeline whenever required all right so Yes guys, that's all what I want to cover as part of this video. In case if you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow my channel. Thank you.